Hi, Melissa. So I'm so excited to chat all things your monster and mm -hmm. et cetera. So yeah, thank you for chatting with me today. Of course. Happy to chat. So one question that I love asking all of, um, or in all of my conversations, um, I think so many people are just going to love your monster and love this movie. What are you loving in the like reading and watching space right now? Um, I am currently watching this beautiful show on Netflix called El Secreto del Rio, The Secret of the River. It's a Mexican show and it's so beautiful. It makes me cry so much. It's like a, a, a a story about like a beautiful like 20 year friendship between a uh, a queer boy that doesn't know if, if he you know like is trying to figure that out and and a straight boy and like the like how beautiful and un unjudgmental it is and then the, it also has it also delves a little bit into the mouche culture which i don't know if you're familiar with but like in in i, I believe it's oaxaca um they there's a in a lot of little towns there's uh mouches which are basically like a third gender mm. and, it, and it's like a very like cultural thing where um I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain it. But anyway, it's gorgeous. That's what I'm watching right now on TV. Um, and reading, what was the last thing that I read? I feel like I've just been reading scripts as of late. Um, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, honestly. Mm -hmm. That's like, I'm not a podcast listening person. I'm more of an audiobook person. Yeah. 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 Um, so I think the last... The last audiobook that I listened to that I literally just finished not that long ago before um before going into all all things. Um oh, oh the women. Have you have you read The Women? I haven't, but I'll have to add it to my list. The Women by Kristen Hanna. Um it's about the women that went to Vietnam. Like the the nurses. Yeah. Because nobody ever thinks that like women were at war back then. Yeah. But it's about it's like an, a tribute to to the nurses that were like saving lives, but they also had the trauma of being at war. And it's such a beautiful book. So beautiful. I could talk about books all day. Those that's a I great recommendation. I, I can't know, wait to read yeah. that. <laughs> and so one of my favorite things about your monster and um just seeing the cast together is how many just like powerhouse females powerhouse women are in this movie i have to ask if you have a favorite story from uh from working with um with megan and caroline and all of these women that we all love so much they honestly i feel so so fortunate that i got to work with all of them in one you know like in one yeah. project. um they are the best like they're so talented and so generous and so lovely and it just kind of felt like working with friends and they were all friends before me, you know, like they were all already friends. Um, and I just, they just kind of like accepted me into their group and it's um, it was such a safe space, you know, mm -hmm. it was so, so, such, so safe and, and like unjudgmental mm -hmm. and um, truly collaborative. Yeah. And, and, you know, it was all about like propping each other up all mm -hmm. the time, seeing yeah. how we can make anything and everything work. And it was a beautiful way to shoot that movie. And, you know, you talk about like the, the faces, but like even behind the scenes, there were a lot of women too, you know, like it was a very like women in film. Women in film. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's a it's a great because also like it's about female rage. You know, it's a story about female rage. So it makes sense that it would be women that have been through this, that understand what it's like, that have that know what Laura is going through yeah. um, to tell the story. Yeah, for sure. And in the vein of like those female friendships, I also wanted to say that uh, I love just seeing 
like your friendship with Jenna Ortega and that video of y'all, uh, a moment that I'm not sure if you are aware went viral of y'all just like laughing together in an in interview, I believe, because it reminded me so much of like my sister and me. Right. Um, yeah. And we, that, that, that was doing press for Scream 6. And I was so sick during oh, the whole no. press run. And we were laughing because I would start choking on my, on my cough and on my, and so it was hilarious because, or I would start laughing and it would make me cough and then I couldn't stop. And then I, you know, it was so, yeah, we were laughing a lot during that press run because I was sick as a dog. Gosh. That, yeah, no, that's real because that happens to me a lot too. Yeah. Um, but so I also wanted to ask, you said something so beautiful at the beginning of this year that I was curious to kind of see the end of year perspective on. Following the your exit from Scream, you kind of mentioned that you felt like you were getting better acquainted with like who you're supposed to be, which just took my breath away. I thought that was so beautiful. And as we get near the end of the year, this is such like a reflective time and grounded time for so many people. And I didn't know if you were kind of in that vein as well of kind of just like groundedness, new perspectives, um, how that journey has been for you, if you wouldn't mind or feel like sharing on that. I mean, this whole year for me has been that, you know, mm -hmm. I've had a lot of time to think about a lot of things and to reevaluate a lot of things in this year. Um, and so I think right now, specifically these last few months of the year, people, you know, with the election coming up and uh, in and the war, the war, the genocide still going on, um, I think people are are freaking out and everybody's kind of like thinking of like what what does the future hold like how do we how do we make it better and I have been thinking that for a year you know and I think that and 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 you know it's not just to sound like self-righteous or anything like that I've been thinking about it for a year nonstop. Yeah. Like there's people that have actually been on this journey for way longer and it's them that we should be thanking for our world not being like over with right now. You know, like they're the ones that that continue to 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 make changes for the better and to fight for better things for all of us. Um but um but I think um yeah, I I I definitely feel like a changed person. I, I definitely feel like I, I, my priorities are completely different than they were a year ago. Yeah. Um, I see the world through different eyes. Now I see people through different eyes. I see the industry through different eyes yeah. and I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for everything that I went through, even though it was really hard. I'm so grateful that I that I lived it and that I survived it and that I'm stronger for it and that I know I, I have a, a focus of what I want to keep doing, not just for me and my career, but like, how can I contribute to the industry and yeah. to the world to make it better and safer for everyone? Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, another thing about your monster that really took me back was this whole idea of becoming friends with like the monster in your childhood home. Because I think there are so many things in so many people's childhood homes that they have yet to confront. What do you hope audiences take away from this film when they see it and kind of come face to face with all of these messages that we've been talking about? Well, first of all, I hope that they because that's what Caroline wants with her films. She yeah. wants to to make movies where people can feel safe in the movie theater. So mm -hmm. I want people to come out of it having had a good time, a good laugh, and, a, you know, just feeling good. Because I feel like a lot of times you come out of the theater feeling so heavy because movies are so dark. Yeah. Um, Matt, so that's first. Second, I hope that people catch on to like the the layers of the story and how like right. deep it actually is and and Laura's journey and like the metaphors for you know how repressed 
we are, um, and I keep saying women, but like, it's not necessarily just women, you know, it's like anybody can feel that way. Like, um, and, and this idea of like befriending the monster in your closet is such a life hack. Like, yeah. can you imagine not being scared of the thing that scared you in your childhood anymore? Like how liberating and how yeah. beautiful to have that, to like actually fall in love with it and, and to like make peace with it and, and then be able to go through life fearless like that. Like that's such a, like, I wish that for everyone. So I hope that uh, it makes people think and, yeah. and that it, um, and that they want to rewatch because there's every time that you watch this movie there, you'll see more of the genius that Caroline injected in like tiny little details. Yes. And final question in our last few minutes, I am so curious, what is it like doing these kind of like musical theater aspects and elements within the action and cut world of like scenes in film? Because obviously live theater is so spontaneous and not a lot of room for that. It seems like is in film. So I'd love to hear about that. It was so fun. I mean, I am a theater person. I went to school for theater and I love, that's like my first love. So being able to portray that world so accurately too, like, you know, we had a lot of actual like New York theater people come in and, and, and do little, you know, one scene things. And they all say like, it's so real, you know, there are people like Jacob out there there are there is that like the nervousness the tension the excitement the the anticipation and it's such a beautiful process and so i love being able to to kind of live vicariously through laura and mm -hmm. live out that dream of the broadway debut and to and to also like i think there's such a stigma against theater and musicals in film yeah such a like a rejection that I don't understand because there used to be a time where like every movie was a musical and it was amazing <laughs> <laughs> what happened but uh but so to to show another side to it through through like not a full like full face musical but like a little a little like taste of that in a in a movie that otherwise is a like a normal movie mm -hmm. um, I think for me as a, as a theater nerd, as a musical theater geek is great to be able to like lure people in and be like, mm, this is, look at this beauty. Yeah. This so cool. Like maybe, maybe go watch musicals, you know? Musical geeks unite. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for chatting with me and congratulations on this movie again. I cannot wait to just tell everyone about it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Yes. Have such a good rest of your week. You too, Chloe. Nice chatting with you. Nice Bye. chatting with you too. Bye.